Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. We will opt. We'll keep the opt. Draw the opt. We'll play the island. We'll play Stormwing Entity, except... All right, door it on top. Mystical Dispute to the bottom, except Teferi here, Bouncing Stormwing's pretty obnoxious. All right, tap land. Well, at least it's not Teferi. To the top. That doesn't work. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. And this isn't just any edition of Budget Magic. This is our first course at 2021 standard edition of Budget Magic, and we have a sweet one. We are playing eight rare zero mythic is it prowess this week so basically we're slinging spells as cheap as possible i mean in paper the deck is like 80 bucks although 50 of that is steam vents so if you have your steam vents it's super cheap on arena there's only eight rares a, a new one an important one from course at 2021 storming entity and also the steam vents so you should be able to put the deck together cheaply basically anywhere and the deck is actually super powerful so let's talk about it jump right into our games starting with the reason we're building this deck, really, Stormwing Entity, our new prowess payoff. So, 5 mana 3-3, three, three, the big deal is, if we cast an instant or sorcery, it costs 3 mana less. So, it's 1 in a blue. If we cast an instant or sorcery, it has flying, it has prowess, so it gets bigger as we cast our spells. And, when it comes into play, we get to scry, so we get a little immediate value. So, the idea with our deck is we have a bunch of 1 mana instants or sorceries, so we should be able to pretty consistently do something like opt into Stormwing Entity on turn 3, get our big threat, cast a bunch of spells, beat our it down to back up store entity we have a couple of two drop threats sprite dragon is just insane if it sticks around just a little two mana one one with flying in haste however when we cast a non-creature spell we put a counter on it so over the course of the game as we cast our cheap spells it's pretty easy to grow sprite dragon into like a five five and that is a lot of damage meanwhile riddle form is essentially a three three flyer for two mana we have to cast a spell to turn it into a creature it normally kind of hangs out as an enchantment which is sometimes an upside that means it dies is Wrath, which is important against control decks. Yes, you can like Wrath away our Sprite Dragons, but our Riddle Forms survive, and we have so many spells in our deck that we can usually turn it on basically at will. Plus, it's a non-creature spell, so it triggers Sprite Dragon, so we go like turn two Sprite Dragon, turn three Riddle Form, grow Sprite Dragon, etc, etc, etc. So these are our main ways of winning the game, but for these cards to be powerful, we need a bunch of spells. So we start off with a bunch of cheap cantrips, because what our deck really wants to do is stick a threat or two, and then just start chaining cantrips, because our spells turn on our Riddle Forms, they grow our Sprite Dragon, they grow our Stormwing Entity, so Crash Through draws this card, gives our creatures trample. Opt draws this card, lets us scry. Frantic inventory, pretty insane as the game goes along. We see a lot of cards because we have all these cantrips. So even though the first copy is kind of meh, the second copy is decent, a draw two for two. And then the third and fourth copies, good lord, when you're drawing three or four for two at instant speed, it's absolutely insane. Plus it's triggering all of our spells matter stuff. And then light up the stage, just more card draw. Little awkward because we often want to cast it post combat so it doesn't trigger like our sprite dragons before combat or a storm entity, but still, more cheap card draw. So these cards keep us turning through our deck. Also, Crash Through Opt, some of our best ways to cast Stormwing Entity on turn three, like uh, Crash Through, one mana, two extra mana, put down our Stormwing Entity, get to Scry, get our threat going. Otherwise, we kind of have a combo kill built into the deck as well with Infuriate and Raking Claw. So Infuriate, almost the red giant growth, target creature gets plus three, plus two. So we can use this to save our creatures from like damage-based removal. Also, we just force through more damage on our creatures. Raking Claws gives a creature double strike against the speed. We can also cycle it away so one of the ways we can win is just like get down our stormwing entity or a spite dragon or even a riddle form sometimes and just like cast a spell or two grow them infuriate really grow them raking claws hit you for close to 20 with double strike in the air with one attack shock gives us a bit of removal another cheap spell to turn on our stormwing entity plus angle face if we need to to just close out the game as far as the mana base pretty simple steam vents uh, as i mentioned one of our two rares in the deck along with stormwing entity and more than half the cost of the deck in paper swift water cliffs to keep the budget down bunch of basic lands sideboard wise we get mystical dispute and lazatap plating for control primarily ether gust for red and green decks and then a bunch of removal for creature decks and that is eight rare is it prowess for course at 2021 standard and that's our budget magic deck for this week so let's jump into some games on the ladder see this deck in practice thanks for watching i hope you enjoy it and i will talk to you soon Looking for some new Corset 2021 cards? Well, you can get them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom has Corset 2021 up for pre-sale now, and you can check it out over at cardkingdom.com. All right. 
Budget magic time. We are playing F21 standard, new standard, well, new ish standard. And uh, we're playing eight rare. Is it prowess? And yeah, we can't keep that. All right, well, this will keep. And I guess we mostly just pray that we hit lands. With lands, this hand could be sweet. Well, that's a land. Well, island go. Opponent. Ooh, Abzan, eh? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know how this goes. Dorak, get in, hit ya. So opponent's playing shrines, and we are not a deck that's built to beat shrines. The other decks are built to beat shrines, but we are not. Um, well, I guess we frantic inventory, draw a card, grow Dorat. Plays with water cliffs, go to combat, attack, hit ya. Down to 50. Opponent gets a bunch of manas. Agonizing remorse. Takes our frantic inventory. Plays in a row. Gotta say, I kinda hate a row. Opponent puts a breeding pool into play and passes. Well, we will crash through, draw a card, grow our door at. Play him out in Stormwing Entity. Do some scrying. Um, light up the stage bottom. Shock top. Go to combat, hit our opponent. Down to 14 and pass the turn. Well, we'll see. See what crazy stuff our opponent can do. I think we might have lethal if we get to untap, but I don't have a ton of faith. Opponent, trying to decide what color mana to add. Goes with blue. Sanctum of all. All right. Well, that just means we got to win this turn. Opponent passes, and I think we can. So, uh, shock your face. Grow our dorks. Shock your face. Grow our dorks. Oh, okay. Apparently we're fast enough, and we might as well throw that too, because why not? Go max. <laughs> Swig, hit you for a billion. Okay, well, maybe we can beat Shrides. <laughs> we played Shrides for Against Oz last week, and they felt very strong, with the exception that... With the exception that they, uh... They get blown out by Elspeth Conquers Nest to fairies, Ugins, all that kind of stuff. Our deck doesn't have any of those cards. We'll bring in the Mystical Disputes to maybe counter a Shrine, but I think that our our main goal is to kind of do what we did there, which is just be aggressive enough that our opponent can't afford to take turns off to tap out for Shrines. I mean, that went pretty well there, though. All right, opponent. Shrine away, Shrine, Shrine away. Ooh, all right, that sounds good. I mean, turn two Dorat, turn three Stormwing. Sweet Water Glyphs, goo. Untap land, and all right, life gain sanctum. I'll play a land, Dorat. Hit ya. 17. Well, opponent's gonna start gaining back some life. Fable passage. And passes. Um, Do we wanna opt or riddle form? Opponent is leaving up mana. Yeah, let's riddle form. Trigger Dorat. Island, go to combat, attack. Hit ya. Down to 16 past the turn. Can we close it out before our opponent goes crazy? One shrine isn't too bad, but once they get up to, to three, three I think is a magical number. Three shrines becomes hard to keep up with, so I'm for our opponent. Uro. All right, so opponent's all the way back up to 20. Puts a land into play. And uh, more shrines, yeah. And cracks. Well, it's gonna be tough. Yup, yup, yup. Gets a forest. Opponent passes. Ooh. Well, we will opt. Grow to our at. Turn on riddle form. Island definitely to the bottom. So we can't win this turn. So I think that means we just go to combat. Attack. Hit ya. Down to 14. Stormwing entity. Mountain bottom. Crash through top. Steam vents. All right, does our opponent have a Wrath? They really need a Wrath here. If our opponent taps out, I think we can win next turn. Oh boy, Casualty of War, that's unfortunate. Well, okay. Play a land, crash through. Storming Entity. Hmm. Bottom and, yeah, I guess bottom, bottom. Go to combat, hit you for four. Opponent to 12, all right. What's the follow-up? Opponent goes back up to 14. 
Oh, whoa. All right. Well, now they... Now they very likely have us. Uh, okay, we'll keep light up the stage, I guess. Light up the stage. Uh, steam vents. Frantic inventory. Pass the turd. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So we were just not fast enough. Um, yeah, there's not even any point in... Well, I don't think there's any point in continuing. We draw more lands. We'll crash through. Frantic inventory. Whoo! Okay, well, we got that out of our system. That was our bad game. We drew all the lands in our deck, and we just got off to a slow star, and our opponent had casualties. And extinction events. The opponent just had it all. Um... Yeah, I mean, run it back, run it back, be aggro. So that was not really a shrine win. That was just, that was like when you play the dog deck and you win with Embercleave. Like, sure, technically you won with dogs, but really, you won with Embercleave. Everyone knows you won with Embercleave. <laughs> if if it makes you feel good to think that you won with dogs, the, sure, that's fine. Like, I won't begrudge anyone from feeling good about their wins, but... <laughs> Just so it's clear, that was, that was not really a shrine win. That was a that was a control win. Hit you to 19, bone it. Land and agonizing remorse. Not very good against our deck, but okay. <laughs> Punished. Crash through. Grow door at. Play a mountain. Storm my entity scry. Um, yeah, we'll keep these. Well, the pressure's on. Go to combat. Opponent down to 16. Untap land, Uro. Okay. Back up to 17. Puts a land into play tapped. So we can't win this turn, right? We can deal. So 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. I kind of feel like we don't even want to run out, Dora. I think we just crash through, draw a card. Grow our dorks. Play a land. Frantic inventory. Grow our dork, draw a card. Ooh, all right, hit ya. Put one goes to eight, past the turn. Extinction event, what do they name? Okay, goes even. So is this lethal? Is this lethal? I think, Dorat, Infuriate, that's gotta be lethal, right? Opponent, passes. So this is one, two, five, eight. Okay, yep. Dorat, Infuriate, Trigger, trigger. Whoo. And that is enough. Well, Shrine's got us a game two, but even through the Wrath, we got there game three. Well, all right. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. I right, Cool to see people actually trying Shrines. That is pretty sweet. Well, all right. On to the next one. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing eight rare is it prowess in M21 standard. And well, this is a this is a hand that we would like if we had lands. If we could trade out a couple of cards for lands, but uh alas. <laughs> we haven't gotten to that mulligan rule yet. I'm sure I'm sure we'll get there eventually. But not yet. Uh yeah, we will mulligan. Mm, Alright, so water cliffs, go. Forest for our opponent. But asses. Ooh, well, yeah, let's just door at. So this is probably Team Iraq, unfortunately. Definitely looks like Team Iraq. Ooh, not Team Iraq. Well, get in hit ya. I guess it's hard to say with Grow Spiral these days, because literally every deck plays it. Well, not literally, but very close to every deck plays it, so you never know. This is, uh, this is not Team Iraq. Or it's Team Iraq, like, splashing Teferi or something. Opponent, Temple Shocks. Piasses. Well, uh, play riddle form. Grow the door at. Sadly, we haven't hit uh, much card draw. Actually, any card draw. Grow spiral part two. Puts the land into play. Cracks it. Well, I'm sure something big and scary is uh, on its way. Gets an island. Uh, go to combat. Hit ya. Down to 15. Tap land. Go. We need, like, two more turds with nothing going horribly wrong. To maybe win with this uh, Raking Claws double strike? What do you got, opponent? So opponents, maybe they're just Bant Mythics playing the Triome. That's probably that's probably most likely. Bant Mythics, I feel like it's uh, a huge percentage of the meta at the moment. Okay, Teferi. This isn't my first time being... Loots with Teferi. Discards Wrath, okay. Tap land. 
Ooh, more lands. Well, play Riddle Form. Turn on Riddle Form. Opponent loses with Teferi. Discards another Teferi. Well, unfortunately, I think we have to kill Teferi. We really, really, really need lands. Well, or not lands. We need non-lands. We're in a flood out mode at the moment. All right, opponent has more Teferis. That just keep it coming. Bounce his door at. Draws a card. Tap land and passes. Well, play door at. Crash through is fine. That is helpful. Crash through. Trigger door at. Turn on the dorks. Draw even more lands. We'll go to combat. To fairy opponent opponent. Opponent to nine. Oh, please no Ugans. No Ugans. No crosses. Anything, anything but those. Uh, looks like Ugin. Okay. Um, yeah, well, we weren't fast enough. So close. Well, we fought the good fight, but yeah. So opponent exiles everything. We will cycle. Oh boy, even more lands. And I think we're just going to concede here. Storming entity, Ugin kills it. Yeah, all right. Well, the uh, opponent's deck's pretty busted. It is pretty busted. So we will, I guess, bring in Mystical Dispute. Although, sadly, although, sadly, Mystical Dispute does not beat Teferi Time Raveler. Yeah, so if you haven't seen this deck, and I don't know how you uh, you would not have if you've been playing Magic Arena, but Bat Mythics is definitely the new hotness. And basically, if you want to build Bat Mythics for yourself, you just uh, go to your arena page, filter by uh, the Bat colors, mostly Simic, but a little bit of white in there too, and then filter by Mythics uh, slash Planeswalkers, and you just add whatever you feel like, and your deck's busted. Of course, you have Grow Spiral, too. Like, you can't, can't forget about Grow Spiral. That is the other important piece of the puzzle. Uh, this sounds fine. This sounds actually pretty decent. We got a Mystical Dispute. Got a Dorat. Probably better known as Sprite Dragon. Well, Swift Water Cliffs. Go. Opponent plays the tap land. Cracks it immediately. It's an island. Well, play an island. Dorat. The perfect one one. Hit ya. I mean, we got a pretty aggressive hand. Temple Garden, Glass Casket. All right. So the answers are stacking up. We will opt. We'll keep the opt. Draw the opt. We'll play the island. We'll play Stormwing Entity, except... Oh, boy. All right. Dorad on top. Mystical Dispute to the bottom. Except Teferi here, Bouncing Stormwing's pretty obnoxious. If our opponent has it. All right. Tap land. Well, at least it's not Teferi. To the top. That doesn't work. Uh, hmm. Could be a Wrath. Well, let's go to combat. Attack, hit ya. Down to 14, past the turn. I think we gotta leave up the dispute this turn. Yeah, Stormwing technically does dodge Glass Gasket. Opponent cracks. Like, we could've run out another Stormwing, but if our opponent just Wraths, that doesn't really do much for us. Gets a forest. And... To Fairy, well, we will Mystical Dispute. Untap. Oh, there could still be a wrath. Maybe we just can't play around it. Let's opt. Crash through bottom for now. Stormwing. Um, hmm. Do we want this land? Now, let's go keep light up the stage. Put the land to the bottom. Hit ya. Down to 10. Opponent untaps. Do they have the wrath? About it. How about, a, how about a glass casket? Would you like to glass casket a Stormwing opponent? Tap land. All right, so opponent does have the Wrath, of course. Well, we will door at. Opponent mockingly says hello. Okay. <laughs> hello to your glass casket opponent. <laughs> uh, what do you got, opponent? Untap land. To fairy. Well, we will mystical dispute to fairy. Boated. Passes. I'll go to combat. Attack. Opponent Ether Gus. Uh, we'll play a Dorat. Pass the turn. Untap land. Well, is this like a Crossus? It's a huge Crossus. 
Well, I mean, that is what this deck does. We'll light up the stage. Swift Water Cliffs. Go. No attacks. Ooh, yeah. Well, that is unfortunate. Opponent plays a land. Cra oh, no. So their last card was Crossus into another Crossus. Grow okay, into a Grow Spiral, fending the deck. Putting another land into play. Cracking the land. Down to one card in hand again. What is that card? Opponent passes. Hmm. Well, play Raking Claws. Although we can't actually attack. Eh, opponent's thinking about it. They might have a counter in hand. All right, Mystical Dispute, that's fine. Storming Entity, Scry. Two lands to the bottom. Swiftwater Cliffs, go. Opponent taps, what do they draw? Oh, Glass Casket, okay. The whammies keep coming, phone it. Well, light up the stage. Go to combat, attack. Opponent blocks. Well, that means we raking claw. Kill the crosses. Oh, opponent untaps draws. Oh, we're so close to actually closing this out. Just to land. Oh, that's infuriate. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. We got there. Beating Bat Myth. Oh, that's another one, too. Beating Bat Mythics. Well, infuriate. That makes it an 8 7. Attack you. Kill you. Okay, it's possible. It's possible that we can beat Bat Mythics. Not easy, but possible. Uh, so opponent's playing a million glass caskets. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, do you want Lazatep plating? Probably not worth it. Doesn't stop Ugin. All right, well, run it back, run it back. We got our plan. It's to be aggressive and hope our opponent does not have the most insane draw and just has like a, a medium insane draw. Ooh, come on. Let's take down this deck. As much as this deck is hard to play against, it would be really sweet if we could beat it. I think we actually keep this. It's a little sketchy because we got one land, but we are on the draw, but we have many threats. That's not a land. Oh, Swift Water Cliffs go. And we do have cantrips to help us find our lands. In a perfect world, we'll just draw land so we can play Dorat this turn. That's what we'd really like. Well, now we gotta opt. That's not a land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, Swift Water, Swift Water Cliffs. All right, we're piecing it together. Pass the turn. Come on, more lands. We'll take more. Always more. <laughs> Avoid it. Untap land. Passes. Well, we'll opt. Okay, keep the island. Draw the island. Island and storming entity. Okay, well, we've pieced our lands together. Opponent has the dispute. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're getting to the mid-range part of the game, and they're still at 18. Land. To fairy, unfortunately. It takes impressive knowledge. Loots with Teferi. I'll play Dorat. Opponent loots with Teferi. Steam Vents. Riddle Form. Grow Dorat. And... You know what? I guess we just have to ignore Teferi. I don't think we win by attacking down the Teferi. Opponent has a Glass Gasket. Yeah. The downside of this Teferi living is our opponent's just going to loot their way into whatever they need. Loots with Teferi. They are a little pinched on lands. Can we take advantage of it, though? Opponent passes. Well, play Dorat. Crash through. Grow Dorat. Turn on Riddle Form. Okay, opponent phases out. So we will... Hmm. Hit our opponent. Light up the stage. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Up to five mana. Nissa. All right. Adding to the Planeswalker pile. Turns on a land. Oh, now we got a bunch of problems. Teferi. Lutes. Yeah, now we got to somehow deal with both of these Planeswalkers because this, this gives our opponent all the mana they could ever need. Not sure how we do that. Opponent hits us. Down to 17. So we draw a land. Well, let's play the land. Play Dorat. Opt. Trigger all of our stuff. Turn on our riddle form. And we'll keep frantic inventory. Go to combat. Opponent's gonna phase out Dorat. Well, unfortunately, we gotta go Nissa Nissa and then frantic inventory to grow Dorat. Kill Nissa. 
past the turn. I mean, we are staying in this. Pona plays a land. This Teferi's so annoying. Gets a land. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Our Dorats are growing. Our Sprite Dragons are getting big. Ugh, another Teferi. Infinite. Infinite Teferis of the Spotless Mind. Going to bounce our Riddle form. Play a Glass Casket. Never ends. All right. Lose with Teferi. Hits us. I'll play Riddle Form. Grow Dorat. Play Frantic Inventory. Draw a couple cards. What do we do? Play a land. Ugh. So many Teferis. Frantic Inventory. Draw three. Frantic Inventory's been good this game. Well, that's a lot of lands. Opponent loots with Teferi. Discards Uro. Well, no? hit ya. Down to seven. I mean, I think that's our only real shot is to just attack our opponent. So it takes up Teferi. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Oh, so close. Opponent hits us. Down to 11. Opponent can definitely get back Uro because they've looted a million times. Loots with Teferi. Discards a land. Passes. Oh, well, we will play Crash Through. Trigger door at. We will not turn on the Sphinx. Go to combat. Tag our opponent. There's the instant speed wrath. Now we will play frantic inventory. Draw four. <laughs> Full power. Play Stormwing Entity, Scry. Opponent lives with Teferi. Discards Grow Spiral. Um, yeah, we'll keep them both. Play Swift. Hmm. Play Swift Water Cliffs. Pass the turn. Discard a couple lands. Opponent untaps. Oh, this has been a battle. This has been a battle. Pony has had that Teferi for so long. Pony also lost their green source, which is actually good for us. That means they can't Uro. I wonder if we should have killed this Teferi like forever ago. Pony takes up Teferi. Could still have another instant speed wrath. We can play around it pretty well though. And oddly these glass caskets. Oh, Pony just runs out of crosses? Okay. Okay. Okay, can we win? Can we win this turn? There is a Teferi down tick. More importantly, there's a Teferi... Hmm. Well, this is going to be this is gonna be interesting. Opponent, lose with Teferi. So we basically need two... We need enough threats. Okay, so we play Dorat. Step one. We opt. Actually, let's crash. Do we want... Hmm. So we need this to be five power. So let's opt. Trigger everything. Turn on our Sphinx. We're actually going to put Stormwing to the bottom. To the bottom. We draw land. We crash through. Trigger. We infuriate riddle form. Trigger. I still don't think we win. We've played through so much of our deck. Because our opponent can phase out a creature with this Teferi. So our opponent's still going to have one more turn. And then we play Riddle Form. Trigger. Go to combat. Do we have to kill Teferi? Opponent's saying good game, but it's not actually game. Actually, maybe it is. I think with Trample, I think we're good. Because we we cast the Crash Through, so I think Trample gets there. I was totally spacing on the Trample, but I think that's enough. That's 11 minus 3. I think that's Xaxes. Oh! Take it down, Bat Mythics! Even with forgetting Trample. Oh my goodness! Wow! Alright, that was... That is probably going to go down as our best performance, because that deck is 
tough. That deck is so tough, but we got there. Our prowess synergies, even forgetting trample, got the job done. Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing. Ooh, this is land heavy. We're going to try it, though. We are playing eight rare. Is it prowess in M21 standard? And this hand has way more lands than we want, but we do have a redraw and we do have a threat. Ooh, basic planes. Healer sock. Okay. Oh, dear. Well, hmm. More lands is not what we were hoping for. That's that's not ideal. All right, all right, all right. Island. For, ooh, opponent's probably like blue-white flyers, I guess. We might end up regretting keeping the, the five lander. And even more so that we have drawn more lands now. Hmm. Well, play riddle form. Grow Dorat. Opponent bounces Dorat. Well, steam vents go. Island for our opponent gets and hits us. Down to 19. And Fairy Miss Grant. Oh, play on the island. Play Dorat. Pass the turn. Definitely worried about Safara? Spectral Sailor. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, if our opponent can play the, like, all fires are indestructible thing, then we're just... Then we're probably done. Opponent. Ooh. Well, Frantic Inventory. Trigger, trigger. Grow Dorat. Turn on Riddle Form. Shock is good. I think we just block Sailor. Our opponent could have the, the Flying Anthem or, like, whatever. All Flyers get plus two, plus two. So I don't want to risk Dorat, but I would like to kill the Spectral Sailor, even if we lose Riddle Form. Because I am worried about them having the Flyers. Okay, they do have Rally of Wings. We drop to 13. We draw another land. Hmm. Steam vents. Tapped. Pass the turn. I think we're, like, kind of playing for the long game now. Miscreant. Well, we will shock a miscreant. Uh, opponent. Passes. Um, let's wait on frantic inventory till we untap. Play a land. I want to play around mystical disputes and such. Frantic inventory. Grow door at. Draw two this time. Ay, two lands. That's not great. Well, opt. Storming entity. Okay, that's that's better. Stormwing. Scry. Bottom, bottom. We need we need card draw. Put them both to the bottom. Get in with Dora. Opponent takes it. Okay, come on, lands. Lands, lands, lands. Brazen Borrower, sure. Opponent untaps. Three cards in hand. Empyrean Eagle grows the dorks. Gets in with Brazen Borrower. All right, no blocks. Come on, card draw. All right, another Dorat. Swiftwater Cliffs. Boy, what I would give for a frantic inventory. What I would give. Phone it. Island. And... Okay. Hard mode, but light up the stage. That is technically a way to draw cards. Um, Crash through. Trigger, 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 draw a card. Interesting. Um, Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Well, we'll light up the stage again. Trigger, trigger, trigger. I mean, we are kind of going off now, now that we get all the lands out of the way. Mountain Riddle form. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Like, this is what our deck can do when it gets going. Those are some big sprite dragons. Past the turn. All right, opponent. Angelic Ascension. Upgrades to a 4-4. Four, four. That's fine. Or a 5-5, five, five, technically. Opponent. Attacks, attacks. Well, let's opt. Get a bunch of triggers. Turn on our Sphinx. Keep light up the stage. And I think we just block here. Actually, you know what? Let's just block with Riddle Form. Okay, C Dasher. So opponent draws a card. We untap. Light up the stage. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Oh my god. That is something. Oh, we gotta go for it. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent blocks. Yeah, I mean, we're going for it. Trigger everything. Do you have an answer? 
Come on. Hold. Hold. <laughs> I mean, that is 16 power. Or 16 damage. Whoa! Opponent survives. It goes to one. Okay. <laughs> Phone attacks with everything. We will chump the angel. We go to four. Healer's Hawk. How we light up the stage. Trigger, trigger. An opponent scoops it up. Well, that was close. Whoo! That was way closer than I was expecting. Well, we will bring in our removal. Flame sweeps. Scorching dragon fires. Um, maybe a couple soul seers. We will go down. What do we go down? I guess, like, a couple infuriates. Maybe one light up the stage. Ugh, one raking claw. And maybe we just go one soul seer. Let's try it like that. So we get a bit more removal, and we survive that one anyway. I'm mostly worried about the... I, I think it's Safara. Whatever the Corset 2020, like, seven mana, you can tap four flyers thing is. Ooh, this hand is... This hand is pretty good. Pretty good. Bonnet, island, and passes. Ooh, and a flame sweep. This hand's even better. I think probably one of the biggest advantages we have is... Our deck has a lot more removal than our opponents, I would assume. Opponent gets in, hits us. Uh, play land, and... Dorat. Alright, opponent disputes. Sure. Planes. Gets and hits us. Down 18. Well, riddle form. And let's play an island. That might keep our opponent from attacking, just uh, on the off chance that we can, like, opt. More spectral sailors. Plays a land. Imperian Eagle. Wow, no fear, no fear. Uh, Alright, so we need to flame sweep. Kill the Spectral Sailors. Swiftwater Cliffs. Hit ya. We could use more threats. Bonet hits us. Down to 13. Um, well, play him out in Frantic Inventory. Playing around Mystical Dispute. Turn on our Riddle Form. More Riddle Forms, all right. And go to combat, attack, hit ya. And Riddle Form Part 2. All right, opponent did have another dispute. They're down to one card, though, and we have removal left over, and and we have card draw that we will hit. Like, sooner or later, we will hit it. Opponent, tap land. Yeah, this might just be the better Flyers deck. Down to 11. Swiftwater Cliffs. Hmm. I'll play Swiftwater Cliffs. And yeah, I guess we just pass. We can scry. There is additional upside here. Opponent, land. Passes. Well, let's scry. Looking mostly for card draw. Optworks. Keep opt. Draw opt. Cast opt. Turn on riddle form. Definitely, definitely, definitely keep frantic inventory. For sure. Uh, frantic inventory. Time to refuel. Ooh, into another one. Okay, this is where we want to be. Get it, hit ya. Opponent. Takes it. Down to 11. Stormwing entity. Entering the battlefield. Let you scry. Shock and door at. Uh, we'll keep both of those. Those are both fine. Steam vents, untapped, past the turn, and this is where we want to be. I think this is exactly it. Opponent, combat, passes. Well, we untap. We play Dorat. Frantic inventory, draw three. Oh, frantic inventory is good. It's real good. Grow the Dorat, turn on the riddle form. Um, Scorching dragon fire your eagle? You have some triggers? I mean, this is probably just game. Steam vents, go to combat, attack. That's 11 on board. So opponent's gotta react first, and we have more spells to cast. Okay, Borrower on Stormwing, sure. Borrower. So wait, we shock this. That goes to four power. Five, six, seven, eight, okay. I think this is still lethal. So shock Borrower, trigger, trigger. And then infuriate Dorat. I think this still ends up to exactly, exactly 11. Oh, even through the removal and eight rare is it prowess. Crush it, crush it, crush it, fools. Uh, that was whew, good, very good. Sweet, sweet. All right.
budget magic time. We are playing more 12 rare, no, 8 rare, not even 12 rare. There were 12 rares at one point, but 8 rare, <laughs> is it prowess, in M21 standard. And, yeah, all right, we got riddle form, we got threats, and we got card draw, and we got, ooh, all right. Well, we'll see how this goes. We do have a shock. Ugh, all right, I think we actually shock ourselves here, unfortunately. That is how it did. Mountain, Dodger. Uh, yeah, we will shock a Dodger. So this has got to be some sort of cavalcade deck. Opponent passes. Uh, well, play land, riddle form. Go. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> uh, something like Annex would be pretty obnoxious here. Land for our boat, eh? Crushy Crusherton. Opponent hits us. Ooh. Hmm. Now, I think we just... Shock Dodger. Turn on Riddle Form. Stormwing Entity. Hmm. Let's go bottom bottom. Get in with Riddle Form. Hit our opponent to 17. Mountain. Oh, they just have a hand. Okay. Bone Crusher and Shock. Sure. Opponent hits us to 11. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be super close. Um, uh, well, play Riddle Form. Turn on Riddle Form. Hit our opponent. Light up the stage. Hit. All right. Uh, well, light up the stage again. Can we win next turn is the question. What do we hit? All right, pass the turn. Well, we shouldn't hopefully die this turn. I guess Embercleave would put us to one. Robber the Rich. Shocks. Steals. A crash through. So we're at three. Can we win this turn? I think... I think so. I think we just got the aggro kill here. So opponent hits us, plays a land out of cards. So we play Dorat. We play Opt. Trigger, 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 trigger. Uh, light up the stage to the bottom. Doesn't really matter. Infuriate. Trigger, 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 trigger. Oh, we can't win this turn. Oh, okay. Hit our opponent. Yeah, that was, that was awkward. We don't actually win this turn. Opponent combat. Attacks. Steals. Well, we have to block Bone Crusher. We drop to two. Another Bone Crusher. Oh, play Crash Through. Turn on our Riddle Forms. Play Crash Through. There it is. There it is. Oh, slightly punny, but still lethal. Double Strike it, and we got there. I don't know why I thought we had lethal. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I'm probably going to get yelled at in the combats because that was very obviously not lethal. Wasn't actually that close to lethal. I think, so I think for some reason I was thinking that our other creatures were going to have, were going to have prowess. I, I don't know what was going on in my brain there, but we got there. We got there. We found our double strike spell and won. Uh, got bailed out by our deck being good. <laughs> uh, all right, so we want our red hate primarily. Maybe we don't even, well, jeez. We'll go down Raking Claws. We can trim a couple Infuriates. Definitely want Ether Guts. Definitely want Shocks. Definitely want Scorching Dragon Fire. What else can we cut? Ugh, go down, all right, go down all the Double Strike spells. Even though it saved us that game. And maybe one light up the stage. I think, so I think we're taking a more like control role in this matchup. Where we're going to have a lot of removal. Less of a combo roll, which is kind of how we play in game one with the pump spells and double strike spells. Especially with us being on the draw here. Uh, uh, Alright, well, we got life gain. <laughs> Mountain for our opponent. Toon Street Dodger. We also have our one Infuriate. Uh, Swiftwater Cliffs. Boom. Back up to 20. Nice attack. Tin Street. Mountain for our opponent. Ah, uh, Brother Rich. Gets in, hits us. Steals. Ooh, Stormwing Entity. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? I think we just play a mountain and ether gust this turn. Opponent plays a mountain. Steamkin. Well, ether gust, robber the rich. Alright, grows the steamkin. Hits us. I'll play Dorat. Swiftwater Cliff. 
Go attacking. Yeah, this isn't looking great. Opponent untaps. Land. Robber. Grows Steam Kid. Oh, and the Bone Crusher. Okay. Oh, they just cast Bone Crusher. Interesting. Opponent hits us for a bunch. Well, let's opt. Grow Dorat. We're going to have to play defensively now. Keep the mountain so we don't have to shock ourselves. Stormwing Entity. Island Bottom Opt Top. Play the mountain. Pass the turn, play D. Pona taps. Robber of the Rich grows the Steam Kid. And Fervent Champion. Alright, so opponent just runs out their hand. Goes to combat. Attacks. So how do we do that? Well, let's see what how this triggers. Maybe it gets an opt. Cast the opt. Alright, so infuriate. Uh, so this would be five and three. Infuriate Dorat. Opponent. Leaves it on top. That's probably bad. Well, block Steamkin. Block Robber of the Rich. Four, five, take seven. Did our opponent... Oh! <laughs> Wow, that is unfortunate. <laughs> All right, so our opponent, uh, <laughs> they top deck the, they hit the op off Robber of the Ridge, and then <laughs> they hit the opt off Robber of the Ridge, and then, uh, and then also, wow, and then opted into Ember Cleave when they were empty handed. Huh. All right, well, that's, uh, I guess, why you play Robber of the Ridge. Sometimes you just. Happen to spit into uh, exactly what you need. Wow! Okay, 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 okay. Well, thankfully we're on the play for game three, which should be an upside. Oh man, we're gonna keep this. We need a blue source, but boy, we have all the removal we need to not lose. We just really, really just need to draw a blue source. Mountain for our opponent, Scorch Spitter. Land? Oh, it's a blue source. All right, play the lad, play your riddle form. Well, now we have all the removal we could ever want, and a threat. Opponent. Hits us, pings us. Down to 18. Um, well, play opt. Turn on riddle form. Keep door at. Go to combat, attack. Wow. All right, red cap melee. Sacks of land. Sure. Mountain. Well, shock scorch spitter. Um, hmm. I think we pass for now. This is awkward. We don't really want to just run Dorat into more removal. Opponent plays a land. All right. We would love to hit a land here. That would be our best. Kill Bone Crusher. Land. All right. Play Dorat. Go attacking. Mounted. Oh, we need this light up the stage, but that means we need to be getting in with Dorats. Annex. Now go to combat, get in with Dorat, hit our opponent. Light up the stage. Little risky if we whiff on lands. Oh no, oh boy. Oh, that is that is the absolute worst way this could go by far. Scorch Bitter, Steve Kid. Ugh, our deck might have betrayed us here. No, oh, Steam Vents. Oh, yeah. We needed, we desperately needed to hit a land last turn. Crash through. Past the turn. Yeah, whiffing on that land probably means we're dead. We needed to, we needed to light up the stage into a land and then kill Annex. But now that we, since we whiffed, that cost us a ton of life. And it cost us that turn. And it cost us all the cards. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe we should have just killed the Annex. I don't know. Maybe maybe that was just the wrong way to play it. But now our opponents... Yeah, now we draw the lands. Um, yeah, now it's just too late, unfortunately. Oh, and then we wasted the light up the stage anyway. Yeah, all right. Well, I think that this is a matchup we can win, but boy, we got an opponent with a really good game, like a nice mono red player would do, and we will scoop. Ooh. Well, I think that we're heavily favored in that matchup, or at least reasonably favored in that matchup, but boy, do we get uh, relatively unlucky. I mean, you could say maybe we should have played it differently.
And that is arguably true. Maybe we should have just kept missing land drops and killed the Annex. Um, but, yeah. Uh, that was unfortunate in multiple ways. Our opponent got the, like, miracle opt into Embercleave to win game two. And then in that game, we just... Our deck did not cooperate and give us lands. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing eight rare Simic Prowess, and I don't think we can keep that. We got no threats. All right. This hand has threats. We will keep. We will put... Raking Claws to the bottom. Well, I mean, Riddle Form Andorra is uh, not a horrible start. Opponent, considering their opening hand. So if Water Cliffs go. What's our opponent up to? Sacred Foundry, Elsid of Life's Bounty. Well, I have no idea how this goes. Uh, we will play Dorat. Go tagging. Planes for our opponent and Seasoned Hollow Blade. I don't play them out and play Riddle Form. Grow door at. And I think we're staying aggressive here. Go dagging, hit ya. I think our goal is to win the race. We'll see, opponent. Bone Crusher. Well, we will spend our Infuriate. And this also lets us turn on Riddle Form. Mountain. Opponent passes. Well. Frantic inventory. Trigger, trigger. Please, spells. Not more lands. Well, all right. Play a land. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent goes to nine. Yeah, let's wait. We might need this riddle form to turn on the other riddle form. Opponent plays a land. I mean, we are way ahead at the moment. Oh, all right. It's a Winota deck. Opponent has one non-human. Gets in. Gets a trigger. Well, we really need a spell to win this turn. It's a Alpine Houndmaster. Okay. Well, come on, spell. Come on, spell. Down to 14. It's an island. Well, play the lad. Play Riddle Form. Turn on Riddle Form. Get in with Riddle Form. I think... Ugh, I think we have to leave back Dora. This is really awkward. Opponent goes to 7. Pass the turn. That's a lot of lands. That's many, many lands. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks with everything. Gets a Winota trigger. Another Houndmaster. Draws some more random dogs. 6, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, no, block Winota. Oh my god, that's game. All right. Well, that was something. Little, little fizzly, little fizzly, I will say. Well, bring in Soul Sears, bring in Flame Sweeps. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go down Infuriates and Raking Claws, run it like that. Ooh. Well, boy, well, you can see the margins. We're a 22 land deck, and we really count on having that critical mass of spells. And we had... <laughs> we had a uh, we had lethal if we just drew any spell, but we drew land number six out of our top ten or whatever, and yeah, that's how the that's uh, the main way the deck can lose is when you uh, when you just fizzle. Unfortunately, we're losing to uh, <laughs> uh, to uh, a pretty janky deck. Maybe Alpine Houndmaster's uh, actually playable. We'll play first. Oh, all right, we'll keep. We got the Flame Sweep, which is pretty good against what our opponent's trying to do. Swift Water Cliffs. Opponent, Mulliganing for Winota. London Mulliganing, of course. Template Triumph for our opponent. To the bottom. Well, play a land. Dorat. Get in for what? Two Frantic Inventory is not bad. Planes for our opponent. Has the Bone Crusher. Well, play Riddle Form. Steam Vents tapped. Mountain. Bone Crusher. Well, play Frantic Inventory. Boy, are they just mulliganing into it again? Uh, go to combat. Attack. Hit ya. Light up the stage. Draw a couple cards. Swift Water Cliffs. Well, alright, let's see how good of a turn our opponent can have. Mountain. Legion War Boss. Eh, that's not that good of a turn. Self a Savior. Triggers. Attacks. Um, alright, so. Play the land. Shock War Boss. Flame Sweep. Go attacking. Light up the stage. 
past the turn. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play our door rat, but tap land. Alpine watchdog. Oh, no, it's us. Ooh, souls here is good. We're gonna want to leave that up. So play riddle form. Turn on riddle form. Play a land. Go attack it. Hit our opponent. Souls here is our answer to our opponent having Ember Cleave. Huh. Well, all right. I guess we got to do this now then. Kill Bone Crusher. Turn on our dorks. Glass Cast gets a riddle form. Thought it. Gets in for two. Oh, does not get in. All right. Well, out of cards. That's good. That means no Ember Cleave in hand. Um, Frantic Inventory. Draw two. Turn on a riddle form. Technically, we're still winning the race at the moment. Uh, crash through. Draw a card. Ooh, another frantic inventory. Play a land. Crash through. Okay, there's a shock. That's good. Go to combat. Attack. Hit ya. Opponent. Down to seven. Oh, we're so close. Opponent. Attaps. Legion war boss. All right. So opponent goes to combat. So we'd be taking five. One, two, three. Yeah, let's just frantic inventory. I think we actually just want to try to win this game if possible. Draw three. All right, sure. Legion War Boss opponent hits us. Down to eight. Well, we will frantic inventory. Draw four. Turn on our riddle form. Dorat. Play a land. Shock our opponent. I think we. I think our frantic inventory has got us there. Trigger, trigger. And hit ya for five. Whew, okay. Well, I mean, that went much better. Opponent scoops it up. Whew, Winona is still scary. Even even dog Winona, apparently. <laughs> that protection card is actually kind of good. Or the indestructible, the indestructible thing. Opponent has a lot of like protection indestructible stuff. Soul Seer is a good answer though. Uh, do we go down the raking clause too? Let's go up the in ether gust. Or maybe just dragon fire? How how full on the control roll can we go while still being able to kill our opponent? That's the question. Yeah, bring in two Ether Gust. We're not like that. Ether Gust is a good answer to Winota. That does get around the indestructibility. At least a temporary answer. Um, yeah, all right. We got a bunch of removal and we got a door at. It'd be nice if we could grow it out of danger zone, but opponent to the top. Uh, Steam Vents on tap. Pass the turn. Planes. Houndmaster gonna tutor up some Dorkarinos. Um, yeah, let's just shock it. So opponent gets the dogs. Oh, play an island, Dorat. Hit ya. Planes for our e -booted. Bone crushes our Dorat. Yeah. Oh, play a land, opt. Ugh, Ether goes bottom for now. We got a bunch of removal. Stormwing entity. Uh, bottom, bottom. Pass the turn. Come on, stick around, Stormwig. We need you. Pota plays the blades. Watchdog, okay. Kerr, okay. Hmm. I'll play Riddle Form. Trigger Stormwing Entity. Go to combat. Hit you. This is potentially giving our opponent a Winota trigger. The good news is, it's also potentially killing our opponent's team if they go that direction. Tajik. Okay. Well, Bolt Tajik. Turn on Riddle Form. Pwn it. Gets in with the Kerr. Um, yeah, we'll take it. Sure. Down to 17. More Watchdogs. Ooh. Hmm. Well, let's opt. I think we're going aggro now. Turn on Riddle Form. Yeah, we're, we're greedy. Keep light up the stage. Go to combat. Attack. Hit you. Light up the stage looking for a land. Preferably an untap land. Ooh, swift water cliffs. All right. Well, tap land. Go. Ooh, well, this is our opponent's turn to do something good if they can. This would be the Winona turn. We hit the budget duel. <laughs> Ooh, please no Winona. Boy, maybe we got to be less greedy with uh, light up the stage. Pota gets in. Okay. That's fine. Even if we get Ember Cleaved, I'm relatively fine with this. Put it pumps and pumps. Okay. Oh, this is... This is the best case scenario by far. Oh, opponent scoops it up. Wow, we got there. 
All right, they didn't have it. They didn't have the payoff. And, I mean, we got to see the upside of the Watchdog Ingenious Cure plan uh, with Alpine Handmaster pretty soon in Nona. On the other hand, if you don't draw your payoffs, hey, you're left playing cards that are almost good enough for limited, I would say. <laughs> well, all right, we'll take it. Sorry, sorry. So what do we learn this week about eight rare is it prowess and standard? And the deck felt great. We ended up going four and one with our one loss, arguably being a little bit unlucky, missing our land drops, or maybe we misplayed, depending on how you look at it. I, I don't know. I still don't know in that mono matter match up if we should have just killed the annex or if we were correct to trust that our light up the stage would get us the land to kill the annex. I guess... Worst case, we were a little bit greedy. We could have taken a safer line, but we were missing land uh, I don't know, but that's either here or there. We went 4-1, and one, and we were really close to being 5-0 and oh with the deck, and the deck felt really powerful. We beat Bant Mythics, we beat some aggro decks, so we took down some of the better decks and most powerful decks in Standard, and we just have a really fast clock. We draw a ton of cards, so the deck is really fun to play. Our threats are good, Stormwing Entity is a big deal, and the deck is, like, super-duper cheap, so I don't know. This seems like a perfect budget Magic deck. I mean, I feel like you can actually grind your way up the ladder with this deck with just eight rares and you might even already have steam vents in your collection if you've been playing arena for a while so super cheap you gotta just craft four stormwing entities and you're good to go to like rank up so i feel like this is a really good starting budget magic deck if you want to make it even cheaper you drop the steam vents make your mana a little bit worse and you got like a 30 dollar deck in paper and a four rare deck out of rita so all around is a prowess with sweet it draws cards it attacks it has the combo kill with infuriate and double strike seems like a good option for the ladder on arena or in paper magic so anyway that's better budget magic for this week is it prowess ain't rare is it prowess for course that 2021 standard thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here